democracy is at stake. And I think that the pandemic and also the war in Ukraine has showed us how vulnerable we are and that we really need each other and that we can solve most of the things together. We have been working in different groups and uh, trying to find the best solutions for a strong united Europe. The citizen's voice has been the clearest, strongest and also uh, the most uh, creative, I would say, in this progress. After this weekend, on May 9th, the final recommendations and suggestions will be uh, noted and taken further. So what will happen after May 9th when we have adopted these results from the conference? Well, I think that the results are going to lift the importance of the local and regional level because we are closest to the citizens. When the pandemic hit hard, we sold most of the things very fast at the local level. Now with the war in Ukraine, we have seen the same thing. We sold things in minutes and hours and days in our regions, in our municipalities. And we are close to the citizens and we also have the voice of them what need to be do, done. In my own municipality, we have listened to suggestions and taken them to account. And that's also the idea on the conference on the future of Europe. So after May 9th, we are all going to work together to find how we are best going to take care of all the fantastic, wise and prosperous suggestions that have been worked in different groups. I have worked in the digital transformation group and I think this is a very important group, not because I'm in it, because it solves so many things about uh, infrastructure. Uh, it also s shows that we need to upskill children, but also labor uh, so people can be attracted on the working market, but also because we want companies to come back to Europe and uh, prosper. So we're going to have to do a lot of things also to protect citizens and our democratic system with legislation and other things so we can uh, have uh, the right laws to protect integrity and other.